Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe Happy Hour. This is April from Penguins Creative and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today. And we're gonna go through all the fun things in the stationery world, something we own and then something we're considering buying and are probably in our shopping carts. <laughs> hey Kelly, how's it going? Hey April, it's good. I just got some ice from my lemon LaCroix, my usual. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Um, I'm just having my. Actually, now that I look at it, it's quite a unique drink. Uh, it's from Dice. What's the issue? Oh, but it's no non-alcohol. Exactly. Ume shu <laughs> is like ume is a Japanese plum. Um, ume shu is Japanese plum cocktail or something, right? But mm -hmm. it's essentially sparkling juice. <laughs> With yeah. A bit of a ume plum flavor. You guys all know I love plum. Alcohol 0.0% .0 on the label. <laughs> it just it looks says, like beer. It says non arukoru, which means non alcohol. <laughs> I can't even read into that. <laughs> so, yeah, Kelly's big day um, yesterday, if this episode comes out on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> but in the present, tomorrow. Sorry, yes. if we're being confusing. <laughs> I'm turning 30, you guys. It's a big deal. And I'm, I'm honestly psyched to leave my 20s behind. Goodbye, 20s. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for a new start here. <laughs> Usually people feel like that's like a milestone. Like, like it's like a scary line. No. To, to oh, I'm not scared. Yeah. I'm like, man, I just get to keep giving less and less of a you know what. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> That's what I look forward to getting older. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, yep. I'm welcoming you into the land of 30s. I feel Yay. like it's our best time. So, you know, the yes. best has yet to come. So I, I, I enjoy my 30s as well. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's get into our stationary news this week. Um, do you yes. want to start this time? Sure. Yeah. Um, so this is something that I was noticing. I think this came out shortly after those. Oh, no, it hasn't come out yet. Just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm talking about the Bennu or Binu, Bennu, you think, April? That fountain pen brand. Um, Always has the coolest, like, kind of exterior design, like... Yeah, they look, they, they generally are like this kind of acrylic uh, that looks kind of like crystals. They're very strangely shaped pens. Um, and this line is called Talisman. It says it's uh, features a resin base. They have a, a Schmidt number no. six stainless steel nib, which is kind of a, um, like a typical nib size. I think Twisby's use that same style of nib, right? Mm. This is number six. Um, <laughs> so basically throughout this collection of the, the talisman pens, I, I decided to talk about the one that's called Dragon's Blood. Because <laughs> um, it made me think of my friend Amanda, who loves fountain pens and dragons. Um, it's ki it kind of looks like, like that teal... Um, dark teal and it's got this like red shininess yeah, like <laughs> i feel like i'm describing this really weird <laughs> like lava or magma yeah. kind of flowing through like some i think you said dark teal like it's kind of like yeah it is like dark teal like teal but very subdued like even a little bit darker color yeah maybe it's trying to like represent like the scale and the color variation yes. of the dragon it's, huh. I feel like if you put the Diamine Ink Red Dragon into this pen, you would just win at life automatically. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was meant to be. <laughs> the perfect match. Talisman. Oh, so inspired by great legends and mystical beliefs. Um, so I, I'm, like, looking at the other one called Elderwise. And it's got this, like, icy, um, cold blue edge Ooh, on both sides yeah, with, a, with a dark black barrel in the middle i think and that one's cool <laughs> i think the cool part about these is that uh this design of the Bennu pens is i feel like it's more normal <laughs> like 
I haven't wanted to buy one of their pens because they are kind of wacky, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Which some people are into that, you know, obviously, but uh, this one just looks like it'll be, you know, normal and easy to hold. Um, (laughs) You're right. A shape (laughs) is like a weird thing to say about both sides. (laughs) No. I, I, I see what you mean here. Um, like they're not like overly chunky or something. Right. Like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are coming in June. So I remember I had talked about that, that spring euphoria, I think line that they made with the pastel colors that I still sort of am lusting over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, these are coming in June. I, I just think it was interesting and uh, cool to take a, take a note I would think the mandrake is more of your color. It's got like that neon pink with like the... I do like the mandrake. I don't know. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I think I think Neko Yanagi would look really cool in the mandrake. Well, we'll, we'll be sharing photos on Instagram later for those who are curious to see what exactly we're talking about. Um, yeah, these are super cool pens. I, I like them, but um, I'm on a pen, no buy pen streak. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, well, my thing, <laughs> pens mm-hmm. too, but like a more affordable spectrum. Yes. Highlighters. Um, apparently, while the world is just like, you know, stuck in the whole 2020 pandemic, they had like just sneakily released these super beautiful mild highlighters, mm-hmm. mild color highlighters at Muji in Asia or something. Um, uh-huh. And apparently it has extended to three new colors. So now there's six. Mm-hmm. And so it is your typical highlighter shape. It's chiseled at the tip mm-hmm. so you can like highlight, but the color is inspired by like Japanese traditional hues so there's like the matcha green ube purple ramune blue and then Mm -hmm. um the original Mm -hmm. lineup has like this mustard yellow this kind of very nice looking gray and a kind of i think kind of red ish orange um Mm -hmm. but the color is so pretty (laughs) like the i think it's actually called olive but they were describing it the matcha um i love that olive color so it's, much it's gorgeous i can't believe they actually made a highlighter that color because otherwise i would say these hues are comparable to some mild liners but that green one is not like anything they have um and it's amazing and i it's want so one <laughs> and well to not confuse with like other products like that this one only has one size so it's not gonna be right. like double tipper <laughs> this one has <laughs> is outside and its whole body barrel is kind of the color of the of the pen um so i like the look of it as well it's like very simple and very like muji-esque and i'm just yeah. like when is it coming to the u.s like is, <laughs> is muji bankrupt like is it closed down yet in the u.s i don't know what's the it's, deal <laughs> it's very confusing um and i'm actually realizing that this uh the blue is actually kind of I feel like it's kind of different too. And the, the purple maybe is more smoky, if that makes sense. These all had like a muted gray tone to yeah. them. It's not I as like... bright. Like I, do I dare say it's like milder than the mild liners, but yeah. we might need to try to get our hands on one and do a, a side-by-side comparison. I'm pretty sure someone would have done it soon, but it's about to yeah. be released in... Um, Taiwan. Um, May. I was going to say, um, get your sister out there. <laughs> <laughs> May 31st is when it's going to be released in Taiwan and you can buy it on books.com.tw, which is that kind of like Taiwanese Amazon equivalent. So mm-hmm. hmm, maybe it'll ship to the US. Who knows? How have I not known about this, April? <laughs> right? I don't know. I, I just scrolled like upon it on my Instagram feed from the Taiwanese oh. users and I'm like what <laughs> that's exciting oh and they are they're like water-based pigments so they won't bleed through um your paper is what yeah. I assume that's always good the worst thing you want when you highlight is that is that it bleeds through the page anyway right yeah 
<laughs> which <makes laughs> it's <sense>. fine. <laughs> But Sharpie, you did that. <laughs> can, I, can I just kind of, kind of talk down Sharpie a little bit? Because no, I got fine. the, I got the S liner or something. You know, the one where it's also the chiseled. Oh, I remember. I remember that story. <laughs> Went right through like two pages of my Midori insert, like my Traverse notebook hey. insert. <laughs> um, it's it's in my shelf right now. <laughs> it's been shelved, people. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag shelved <laughs> all right your own item this week i know you're excited to talk about this i am so as it is uh technically when you're listening my birthday tomorrow i got um my friend amanda i'm talking about her a lot this episode she gave me she literally bought me these 12 stamps that I'm showing on the screen right now, if you're watching, um, that are, each of them is based on a, a zodiac sign, like the, the 12 astrology zodiac signs. And they have the symbol of the zodiac sign, and then they have a black cat um, that's doing something. It looks like the you know, like, uh, what, Leo the lion, uh, Cancer the crab, you know, it, it, it's a black cat with, like, that element attached to it. To make it match the, um, the zodiac sign. Yeah, and it's, it, they actually fit perfectly into this uh, pouch that April enabled me to get at Daiso <laughs> that says, what's wrong with selfish? <laughs> Which is my motto. <laughs> It's one of those, so like the, you know, bearer. Aquarius, the water bearer. It's this cat that's like knocking over the glass of water. <laughs> um, and it's by this shop called SniggleSloth.com, which is like Snuggle, but Sniggle. <laughs> I know, it's so weird, but so cute. <laughs> and yeah, like the, the Gemini one, Gemini's the twins. So it's this cat looking into a mirror. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and uh, Cancer the crab is like a cat that looks like it's freaking out because the crab pinched its tail oh my gosh <laughs> they're just very cute and sweet what does the and I was Aries, so surprised what does the how, Aries how, look like oh Aries is funny it, it made me laugh because Aries is April it's this like kind of pissed off looking <laughs> cat with <laughs> horns <laughs> and, and the Taurus which is you. <laughs> yeah, Taurus is me. This is kind of this, this one also has horns with a little like cow print bandana and it also kind of looks like it's had enough. <laughs> it's just loafing and just like, yeah. kind of like judging you as a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? These are like what, like an inch, uh, an inch square? Yeah. Um, and I was just so surprised, like, she didn't wrap it or anything because she's like, sorry, I didn't have time, whatever. And like, but she <laughs> so got you the whole it. set. Oh my yeah. goodness. And they were all wrapped in these individual plastic bags. And I was like, I, the first one I pulled out was Libra. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I guess that's my rising sign. Okay, let's keep going. I'm like, oh, you got me every sign. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. It's the perfect stamp set for you. It it and really is. You can use it seasonally, you and know. Like, like look at the the Pisces has is a cat with a fish <laughs> in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> it's oh, so cute. This is perfect. Yeah. You know it how it is perfect. The weeks you can decorate the edges of the oh, week based you on bet. you know the phase <laughs> of when yes. that sign is in season. Um, is that how yes. you say it? Sign is in season. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the sign is aligned <laughs> yes because it's it's technically Taurus season right now so <laughs> so I'm in my element which is and it, earth, by the way. <laughs> and it's it's just mountain this really it looks like it's good quality wooden um handle yeah it is and I I haven't actually tested it yet because I haven't really had a chance but maybe I'll do a little Taurus on my birthday week in my thinking of you planner Made in the USA. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And they have a lot of other cute stamps on that site. I know. I'm like refraining, <laughs> browsing, and like scrolling through the shop, like close tab as soon as we're done talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Amanda, for enabling everyone on the podcast now. <laughs> oh, definitely share it in the Station Cafe Discord group. I bet everyone would love to see the full set. <laughs> That's true. That's Because I feel true. like this is the kind of stamp where you know, you will just pick the one that is your sign and then mm-hmm. use it as like an icon one. <laughs> yeah. But of course you need a full set. <laughs> I guess, man. I'm I'm set now. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. my stuff, um, I just came across my beautiful green collection the other day, just kind of mm-hmm. them all being on the table and just happens to be a, a trio of three brands I really love. <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful together. Look at them. So um, first item is the Mojave, uh, A5 Mojave Bomb Kuchen, Bomb Kuchen. Um, canvas cover that is made together with the superior labor. Um, mm-hmm. I You might have heard on the podcast that I got the matcha a few months ago, but I decided that I also need Mojave because of the green. <laughs> because this is, this is the kind of person April is. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two now. I have two covers from them. And That's then, fine. of course, the Traverse Company, Traverse Notebook and Olive, apparently super limited because... I didn't realize they were a limited time edition at the time I bought it. I just thought, green. What? Ah. Really? So, you yeah, I bought, it, I bought it when it just came out. Like, And so it was just like, cool, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. And now apparently people like scour the internet for it. And I thought you were going to say like people chop off their limb to get one. <laughs> 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 Will you accept this humble offering? <laughs> But I'm it's so, so like popular. <laughs> People are selling fake ones online. Did you know that? What? What do you mean? Like, how do you? They like it's not. You know, they they claim. Oh, so I, I happen to come across this because I've been working um, at Design Field for two weeks now, and people yes, send emails April. to us. And then turns out people lately have been cheated by this eBay shop that's been selling the Olive TN that is packaged just like Traverse Company does, but it's counterfeit. Oh. I was like, wow, this Dang. is the first time I've seen something like that. That's um, intense. I wonder how they, like, they must have made their own, like, you know, stamp thing to go on the back. Exactly. And- so I want to do a little PSA <laughs> in, in yeah. the education um, department on how to spy for counterfeit um, Traverse Notebooks. First of all, the, the packaging, you know how like they had the cardboard packaging and apparently mm-hmm. the olive one, the one that printed, there's usually that strip of paper that has the la- the logo and like the description and usually yeah. the color. So the fake one that we saw, the green is super bright matcha green, uh. but the original olive TN has a more toned and muted olive color. And so the fake one. Um, yeah. I'm holding it up right now. This is my <laughs> ink journal. <laughs> exactly. And then the stamp at the bottom of that sheet of paper where it has the globe, mm-hmm. um, the fake one is like bright blue. <laughs> so, oh, okay. so if you don't look at it very carefully, you think, oh yeah, because blue is your logo color. But that's the fake one. Because if you get the, the authentic one, it's actually a little bit muted. Yeah. Man, that's shady. I that's so shady. And like so if you look at it from a photo on like an eBay site, you will really know. And then another thing to look at is the stamping. So apparently back there, if you look at Traverse Company, mm-hmm. the apostrophe is a little like a you know exclamation mark sort of apostrophe. Mm-hmm. But the it's one like we saw is like the it's like the tadpole kind with like this uh, circle with a little curvy tail. And I'm like that's fake. <laughs> that, this is so funny because I feel like this is similar to uh, working in retail uh, when you have that conversation with your boss when he's like, "Hey, you accepted counterfeit money. Uh, here's how to tell the difference." And it's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> pointing out all the little bits. And... Oh my god, have you had that happen to you before? I I had that happen quite a long time ago, like a couple years back. But it's when you 
when you feel it next to a real like twenty dollar bill, you can tell that it's different. But you know, when you're in retail and you're working like in your fourth hour and you don't really notice, uh, and who knows? In the next change, you could probably pass it back out again. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs>、so. a bummer. But yeah, we haven't had that happen probably because of COVID. <laughs> Fake stuff sucks. I mean, like、yes. buying from other brands that does all of the color, co- like leather covers. I feel like it's fine,、mm. but like to go to the degree of pretending you're that brand、yeah. while it's not. And、um, some people might say, "Oh, but it's olive," and like you know, I don't care. The colors look same. It's fine. I can use it. But the thing is, you can't guarantee the quality, right? Like, what if it cracks down the road? What if they use、That's、unsustainable、true. leather sources? Like that's、yeah. the one thing you you would hate to be using product that's like made, you know, I don't know, with like illegal labor or whatever. But、yeah. that's just kind of, I feel like my mentality with counterfeit stuff. Like if you're already doing shady stuff, I don't trust any of the the process, no matter how you make that.、Color. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. and you know, like just be yourself. Just do your own thing. Don't try to counterfeit other people's thing. <laughs> So that's the、uh, number two of my trio, and the last one is this beautiful olive,、mm. the superior labor pen pouch in this kind of small rectangular form. April,、so、where did you, you? When did you get that? <laughs> I because I'll I get into that.、It. I'll get into that later. But when you <laughs> open it, <laughs> there's like two pouches on each side, and so on one where where the pocket is a little bit lower, or more shallow, to so to speak. I had all the Carapo pens, ink with all the fountain pen ink to add, and then on the other side, I had my Twispies, the the overflow Twispies, is what I call it. Nice. They look very cute in there together. And suddenly, I have too many Twispies now. <laughs> We all do. It's <laughs> it's fine. April,、so、when did、this. you get that? I got this actually a few years ago, or maybe two、What? years ago, when、yeah. I was in Japan. How come I've never seen it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really、oh. nice. I think I was at one of the Travers Company or something. So the three green、oh, trio—they、um, they look so good together. <laughs> it just makes me happy. It's like you know how like some people have plants. I'm my green stationery. Like yes, just, they will never die. <laughs>、oh. I don't have to water them, <laughs> and they make、It's、me the, happy. <laughs> it's ideal. Yeah, I I smell them. That's so good, April.、Mm. So yeah, <laughs> and I have a little brass penguin charm on my olive tn too. That one is so cute. I forgot where I got that from, but I've been trying to. <laughs> so yeah, that's my own item I want to share this week. And that's inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my charm says inspire. <laughs> oh, it does! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tim Holtz charm, one of、nice. my first accessories for my travel. <laughs> cool. So, what's your、um, I want to buy item? Okay, so、um, this was a an Etsy shop that I came across quite a while ago. I was just kind of looking at Etsy again. Um, it's called Wilson Wild Sticker Co. and the wild is spelled W Y L D E.、Um, they have lots of tarot slash witch slash、uh, astrology ish kind of stickers.、Ooh. Like they have tiny tarot card stickers, <laughs> so that if you're one of those people that does like a daily tarot draw, you can put. A little tiny sticker of what card you drew that day,、oh. which is <laughs> cute and very extra. <laughs>、um, there's some random like crystal stickers they make.、Um, and there's the ones one that, that I... says censored and like adult language planner stickers. Oh, what? Did I not see that? Oh no, I said. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad.、It、just says like you know shit happens.、Um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Done, and it's like toilet paper with <laughs> bats on it, which is actually kind of cool. <laughs> I also like the one they do that's that's just a trash can, and it says,、um, "Does it say Trash Day Eve?" <laughs> 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 like so that you put it on when you're supposed to take the tr- the trash out the previous night. <laughs> the previous night. Um, um, 
that's a nine for me and Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. Um, so they also make <laughs> Mercury retrograde icons, which I just thought was kind of cute. And it's it's just the the planetary glyph for Mercury, um, with an R X next to it, which is the retrograde. And it's just a cute little design. And I'm like, I want those so I can mark them in, so I know when things are gonna go wrong. <laughs> Label those days <laughs> in advance. Sort of <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Have you ever, if you start to notice when Mercury retrograde is, you'll be like, wow, that's why my life sucks right now. <laughs> And, you know, I, t I take this sort of stuff with a grain of salt, but, but you know, there's... Elia would be here saying self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, oh, I know. He, the, he, and, <laughs> he and Amanda's husband, Brandon, would get along because every time I talk about astrology, Brandon's like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> but I want something to blame. Can I, can I have that? <laughs> exactly. It's already bad enough. Stop. And this one, it, they called it Garbage Eve. <laughs> garbage Eve. <laughs> I thought that was a fun way of her taking out the trash. But anyway, yeah, you know, just a cute sticker shop with, with cute stuff. Nice. <laughs> oh, and wait, they say free shipping over 30 USD. So that's always, I know that everybody's ears perk up when they hear free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> just just giving you all the information. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're so sly when you say that. <laughs> giving you information like okay april <laughs> well, we're, we're an educational podcast <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do research <laughs> yes that's true sometimes <laughs> we apologize in advance oh, man. <laughs> we're just I... two girls chatting essentially <laughs> sorry um the secret's so, out my item like i don't know how to like categorize this item in my list um, I wish mm. I'd seen it earlier because it is absolutely something I have I would want and actually I so want but I can't have mm -hmm. um, the Wonderlust limited edition pink and green Toscana leather leather tool holder um, and they are so cute and the reason They're I can't really have them oh my gosh Kelly because I already <laughs> Half one, but from BK, <laughs> the same place, Bomb Kuchen. Yeah. Bomb Kuchen, but in the beige leather. So let me describe this to you guys. It's called the leather tool holder, is because the shape looks like a little, I think like a little tool belt pocket mm -hmm. thing. Um, it is wrapped vertically across the middle section of this kind of pouch with a flap that floats down. And inside, there's like two pockets. One, one a little bit lower than the next and mm -hmm. just enough to fit like I think five to six pens um slim ones a uh, fountain pens maybe like three or four max and I see I saw it on Heather Gross's Twitch streams the mm. other day and she bought one to hold her pens and it just looks so like traveler-y like I'm a toolsman I'm a crafts person mm -hmm. and I've been using it to um, hold my urban sketching setup. So it's a really cute little setup, like that too, because the the watercolor. Um, I got a watercolor palette, palette um, which yeah. is a standard size, kind of like the small, you know, half pan watercolor palette. And then in alongside, since I saw there was still a little space, I like stuck another micron pen in it. And in front, in the front pocket, I put in these like portable traveling um collapsible paint brushes so they look very nice and you know snug in these in these pockets and when i first got them they're really tight um but then mm. obviously this is leather and you're supposed to kind of like stretch it and the description is that it'll mold to whatever you want to put in it that's and so cool <laughs> kind of what I had in mind for my summer's urban sketching outings. So I got it in beige. I love it. 
but I wish I'd seen Esther's one sooner because <laughs> the Toscana leather is so pretty. It has this pebbled kind of texture. I love pebbled leather. It's so pretty. It's soft and flexible with a natural grain texture and hers are this super cute pastel pink. Which is me. And the other one is this super cute pastel mint color, which is which me. Is you. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the the strap that holds it together is still leather, is still superior labor leather. So it just looks so good, the contrast of that like beigey color. Well, and it's got the wanderlust like gold foil. Exactly. Logo. What mine doesn't have. Mine has just the superior labor uh, regular uh, logo on it. These are so, it's, it's really not that expensive for superior labor, so it makes me want to go. <laughs> After my mom just got me two rickshaw pen cases, and I have a pen roll from superior labor, it's fine. I'm not an addict. <laughs> I'm not an addict. So they said the pocket, you can also hold like your cell phone, you know, long, long notebook, or flash. Yeah. The shorter pocket, you can put cards, sticky notes, memo pad. Um, so I, I just thought it's like a cool little vehicle for whatever you want to like yes. on to go. And I, I'm like every day just fondling the leather, trying to like you know yes. how you want to try to like make it like break into it, like broken into. So it's like yes. soft and supple. I'm just waiting for the day nice. when I go sketching oh. again. Um, Urban Sketchers in Seattle is kind of resuming our outdoor meetup um, around nice. June. So I'm really excited to kind of head out there and sketch with friends again. That's cool. So, yeah, that's my wish list. Oh, I can't, I have to stop looking at it. It's so pretty. Um, pretty. But April, you also put in there the Tuscana leather roll pen case. <laughs> I just totally I'm like I don't even want to get there anymore but <laughs> it, it's so, so it's so just funny. like the ones like April has the one with William Morris fabric and I have the all brown dark brown leather one and these are those leathers we just described but in the superior labor pen roll style and, I and they look it's so good <laughs> it's gonna be so soft and so oh, supple man. and so flexible <sighs> I don't need another one, that's for sure, but I could get the other, you know, the, the, the tool. tool holder because it's different than the one I have. <laughs> I can't even justify because I have both. I have both the <laughs> William Morris one and like the, the tool holder. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty. Um, We're sick. <laughs> we, we've got a disease. Out. Check out Wonderlust by TSL. Esther's just bringing her, I think, bubbly and colorful charm into the superior labor series and i yep. think it's something to look forward to in the future as well for sure i i absolutely love these these colors they're so cute and pretty <laughs> now i know every time i see superior labor release something i need to go hit up esther first like just in case you don't have to tell me what it is but should i wait <laughs> <laughs> but are you coming out with that really cute color <laughs> <laughs> should i wait <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. We're, 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 we're going to be okay. <laughs> or will we? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, interesting things, kind of just to round up the episode. Yeah. So April actually pointed out to me the fact that we all know the MU um, print on sticker things. They're like the rub on. Um, <laughs> And they came out with basically a gold foil version um, of their rub-on stick. They're called stickers, but I feel like they're not really stickers. But print-on they... stickers is what yeah, they print on. The terminology. Print on stickers. But you rub yeah. it with like a stick or something to kind of yes. get that thing stuck on the paper. You like gently. Yeah, and I've. This is something that I haven't really gotten into, but. I am very intrigued by the gold foil, like what I'm seeing here on this uh, pink koi site is like this kind of floral patterns, like different flowers, and they are just super aesthetic, <laughs> especially if you have a thinking of you planner. <laughs> yes, that's what I was about to say. This is like designed for the collage layering um, of the thinking of you style yeah. and aesthetics. 
there's actually like one that has like more of like a traveling motif that's really pretty yep um, and then the one with the hand i kind of like the hands i know it's like the it reminds me of many of the tools to live by or maybe one of the uh, that's why i like it <laughs> anyway it's, happiness is a habit happy mind happy life i like that <laughs> So I learned about this through my interview that came out just this Monday with mm. uh, Barbara from Miso Paper, and she's stocking them now. Um, and mm. I was talking with her, Ooh, they need to make a Rose Go version. Oh my God, I would for sure buy every single one of them. If I know you would go. just like fall on those so hard. Like, that's absolutely. I don't even care if it's a fad. It's, it's like my fad. <laughs> Like imagine like it. you put like a cute little sticker and then you add the rose gold like foil on it. Um, wow. I know here in Joanne or something they sell those like interesting pens where you charge it and like it becomes hot and you can foil your own thing. Yeah, but, but mm. these you get ready made <laughs> amazing designs, you know, rather than you kind of like fumbling with a very hot pen. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I feel like that's something you just have to have patience for. And if you know me, you know I don't have patience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I, I love these so much. I am thinking about getting like... They're really pretty. This might be another one for the sister. <laughs> MU is Taiwan, right? MU is Taiwan, but these, you yeah. know, a lot of places stock MU. Like maybe you'll see. That, that's true. Them. And hey, maybe even Nita will stock these in her shop. Ooh, I, yeah. think, I think she'll like these. Mm. <laughs> By the way, just really quick, since I just said that, um, I went to Nita's shop, a blank note.com recently. Uh, I didn't buy anything, but I'm like, dang, she's re she's stocking all this like hot stuff. So <laughs> please check her out. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she has this crimson um, stamp where, yeah. where a little girl is like holding a bubble tea. That's, that's yes, that's life. the one I, I need that stamp. <laughs> like me <laughs> innocent and like not knowing what i'm getting into but yes <laughs> yes so yeah that's so what do we have from you april okay so i was like browsing around to see what's new in the stationary world himekuri um the brand that we know makes those tear away calendar um apparently used their technology to make these cool tear away memo notes and each, so the idea behind it is that each flip, I think there's like 20 designs in the pad. So each one you tear off, you get a little different story of the design. Um, oh. of so you get that experience of the Himekuri calendar where you tear one off, you see a different thing each day, but onto like a memo pad. That's so. adorable. <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> it's so cute. And so like one of them is like the cats in the Himekuri calendar. They usually mm. have a cat theme one, right? Where they illustrated the cat traveling Japan or something. Um, and then this one is like a cat in like a little box or something. And then as you, as you peel through the memo pages, the cats kind of like tumble out and then do fun things. Um, Ooh, and then the name, by the way, is super cute. It's like Himekuri Mirifuri. It's like, you know, like the thousand layer dessert thing we mentioned before. Oh, yeah, the crepe cake. Mm -hmm. So it's oh kind of along gosh. that line. Yeah. There's one that's like a stationary theme, kind of like they had with the calendar, too. Yeah. Um, one that's like thank you notes, um, but you know, with the different designs as you peel through it. So I just thought it's really cute. <laughs> I feel like that's such a good idea because you know when you like you go to Daiso or whatever and you're like oh this is a cute sticky note pad that has like a hundred sheets of the same cat doing the same thing on every single sheet and then sheets you're like man I have a lot of these <laughs> It kind of helps break up the monotony. It does. It does. It gives you that freshness. And you're like, I want to use this because I want to see what's next, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm just kind of in love with the, the size, too. It's like a small square dimension, like a memo pad, but cuter. Imagine these in, like, your current day. Like, imagine if this is the norm of your typical office supply. Like, wouldn't that bring so much joy <laughs> to colleagues? Yes. 
Um, it's really a, it's a truly life. a great idea. <laughs> like imagine like a to do list, but with the cats next to it, like say hi. <laughs> All right. Um, we said these are the topics we are rounding up our episode with, but um, starting this week, we're doing something special because along with our Patreon launch, we have a little special perk for our Venti tier patrons. Thank you so much for supporting us um, through this way. And we really want to recognize you by doing a little shout out. Um, so Kelly, why don't you start with the little batch of shout outs we're doing yeah. this way. Yes, so we've got Marcia. She's saying, being from Germany, I appreciate all your enabling to Asian and U.S.-based stores and fall for it often. <laughs> but I would love to take the opportunity to mention my two favorite stationery shops in Europe, which is kiroku.de in Germany mm -hmm. and cafe-analog.nl in the Netherlands. Both are one-woman business and both have wonderful taste. So thank you for those... Um, kind words marcia <laughs> and then we also have connor uh he had no particular request of what to say just another thank you to everyone at the stationery cafe yay who, i'm called phyllis <laughs> yeah who I, <laughs> I also include i feel like i want to include everybody in our in our little community with that because you guys are all awesome and we truly do appreciate you and April has a couple more to say too. Yes, the first one is Crystal or um, Pink Pearl, as you we see you in the circles of Pink Twitch. <laughs> um, I've been streaming a lot on Twitch, so I see Crystal a lot. Um, she <laughs> hangs out with us and helps us out in the community so much. She said, "I would like to give a shout out to Mar." or uh, otherwise known as Har or, or Bar, which is another <laughs> friend of ours who, who makes silly comments each time on Twitch. Um, so she said, thank you, Mar, for keeping Twitch chats lively and giving us a good laugh. <laughs> nice. She's really fun. Um, <laughs> and then finally, um, for this week's shout out, thank you, Holly from Soft and Muted. Welcome to Seattle, by the way. <laughs> this is just my own comment. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Nicole Journals, thank you so much for supporting us um, and everything we do at the Stationery Cafe. And we hope you like this episode as well and future episodes, of course. <laughs> and if you would like to see what we're up to over at Patreon, you can find us at the Stationery Cafe um, if you search for that phrase. And Kelly and I have been sharing kind of behind the scenes of what our pages look like, what our animals are up to. She has Maya the cat and I have Cookie the Golden Doodle. <laughs> and we also share like extra episodes or happy hour um, where you can see us on it as well for special tiers. There's somebody coming on to one of our special episodes that I'm really excited about. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot, but like I know you'd be very excited about that because I'm like surprised. Um, but I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see. <laughs> Teaser. Teaser. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You can find us on Instagram and or on regular website um, through just typing the Stationery Cafe. And as always, we welcome your feedback. So if you have any questions, suggestions, tips, send them to the stationary cafe at gmail.com. And we look forward to bringing you another fun happy hour episode next week. Bye, Kelly. Bye.